To begin the repair process for the model 350 4 and 6 inch backflow preventers, first close the inlet and outlet shutoff valves. You will want to open the number 2, number 3, and number 4 test cocks to release the pressure from the valve. Leave the test cocks open during check removal and reinstallation. Loosen and remove the two nuts and bolts on the groove coupling on the cover. Remove the coupling halves, gasket, and the cover. You can drain the water from the assembly by loosening the cover plate on the bottom of the valve. Be sure the o-ring does not wash off the cover plate as the valve drains. To remove the number one check valve, locate the two tabs of the plastic retainer at the top of the number one check. You will want to grasp one of the two tabs and push down to remove it from the groove. Then pull straight back and the retainer should spiral out of the groove. Remove the number one check assembly. Always service the checks one at a time to avoid mixing parts. Both checks can be repaired following the same procedure. You will want to remove the bolts from the seal retainer on the check, then remove the retainer. Remove the seal ring and inspect the face for cuts or embedded debris. For a temporary fix, you can flip the seal ring over to use the smooth side while waiting for new replacement parts. Inspect the sharp edge of the seat with your finger for any damage. Inspect the o-ring around the edge of the seat for debris or damage. Replace any damaged parts. If you are installing a repair kit, replace the seal ring, seat o-ring, and bolt o-rings. Reassemble the check and tighten the retainer bolts evenly. Clean and inspect the o-ring sealing area in the body. Lubricate the seat o-ring. To remove the number two check valve, locate one of the two spring-loaded plate retainers around the face of the check. Pinch the sides of the spring together and rotate the plates out of the body groove, one at a time. Remove the second retainer in the same way. Remove the number two check by pulling straight towards the center of the valve. After servicing the number two check, install it in the body making sure it is completely seated. The groove for the seat retainer should be completely exposed. If valve was not drained, water may squirt from the number four test cock as the check is installed. Close the number four test cock to hold the check in place. Insert the number two check retainers by placing one plate into the groove and then compressing spring to insert the second plate. Insert the second retainer in the same way. Install the number one check in the body and close the number two test cock to hold the check in place. If the valve was not drained, water may squirt from the number two test cock as the check is installed. Install the plastic retainer by inserting one end into the body groove and then sliding your hand around the face of the retainer, pushing it into the groove as you go. If the bolts on the cover plate on the bottom of the valve were loosened to drain the valve, re-tighten them now. Be sure the o-ring is still in its groove. Place the groove coupling gasket over the valve opening. Lubricate the outside of the gasket. Replace cover and reassemble groove coupling. Make sure coupling is seated properly and the ends of the coupling halves touch. Close the number three test cock. Open your inlet valve slowly to pressurize the assembly. Inspect for any leaks. Open and then close test cocks to bleed air from the assembly. Open your outlet valve a small amount and wait for system to pressurize. Fully open the outlet valve once the system is pressurized. Valve should be tested by trained personnel to confirm that it is working properly.